in this video i explain high level jet condenser so first we understand what is the meaning of high level high level means the height between this cooling water in a cooling water tank or a pond to the top of the condenser is greater than 10 meters okay so earlier in last two video i explained the low level parallel flow jet condenser low level counter flow jet condensers okay so in a low level the height between the top of the condenser and water level in a cooling water tank is less than 10 meters but here height is greater than 10 meters okay so here you see that the water level in the condenser and the water level in the hot well this height is equal to 10.34 meters okay so by default the height of this water level in a cooling water tank to the top of the condenser is greater than 10 it is called as the high level what is the jet condenser the steam from the turbine and the cooling water is directly mixed it is called as the jet condensers so first we see the various components of the high level jet condensers so this is the condenser cell this is the tail pipes okay so in a low level there is a no tail pipe is there but in a high level we use the tail pipes from this bottom parts of the condenser cell exhaust steam from the turbine is enter cooling water is spray from the top of the condensers means this is the type as the low level counter flow jet condenser because the steam and the cooling water is moving in opposite direction so it is called as the counter flow okay but the height is the greater that's why its name is changed that is the high level jet condensers so here condensed and the cooling water is collected so it is the condensate and coolant this is the hot well so from the hot well water is supplied to the boilers when this hot well is overflow the water is supplied in cooling water pond or a cooling tank and from this cooling water pond or a tank water is supplied in a condenser okay but here this height is more okay means here the vacuum produced is not enough to suck the water Okay, so we need to put the cooling water pump here and at the top part of the condensers we need to install the air pump so air is removed from here so another difference compared to the low level so in a low level jet condenser what we put at the here we put the condensate extraction pump okay so here condensate extraction pump is not there and in a low level here we are not use the pump but in a high level jet condenser we need to use the cooling water pump the arrangement of high level jet condensers is shown in a figures so this type of condenser is also called barometric jet condenser since it is placed above the atmosphere pressure equivalent to 10.33 meter of water so here you see it is the condenser is put at a 10.34 meter height it is equivalent to atmospheric pressure that's why it is called as the barometric jet condensers high level jet condenser is provided at a high level with a long vertical tail pipe of length of 10.34 meter above the hot well means from the hot well the condenser is installed above 10.34 meters and condenser and hot well is connect by using this tail pipe the exhaust steam enters at the bottom and flow upwards and meet the down coming cooling water in the same way as that of the low level jet condensers so here you see at this bottom part of the condenser the exhaust steam from the turbine is supplied and this steam is moving in the upper directions from here the cooling water is spray okay so this cooling water is moving in the downward direction so it is called as the counter flow so when this steam is come into contact with the cooling water steam is start to condense and the condenser is collected in this bottom parts of the condensers now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for the power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car the condensate and the cooling water mixer is automatically drawn away by gravity without the use of any extraction pump due to existence of the barometric leg or a tail pipes so in a low level jet condensers 
below the condenser we need to use the condensate extraction pump means condensate is extracted from the condenser by using the pump in a low level jet condenser but in a high level jet condensers we not need to use the pump here you see there is a no pump is there this condensate or a coolant is directly coming the hot well but in a low level jet condenser we need to use the pump to empty the condensers and supply this water to the hot well a separate pump is needed in this condenser for supplying the cooling water to the condenser because of this height of the cell here you see for supplying this cooling water from the cooling water tank to the condenser we need to use the pump okay so it is called as the cooling water pump but in a low level jet condenser here we are not use any pump because vacuum inside the condenser cell is enough to draw the water from the cooling water tank or a pond advantage of this condenser is that water from the hot well will not be able to rise into condensers and flooded the turbines means suppose this hot well is overflowed and these waters are not reach into these turbines okay but in a low level jet condenser suppose the extraction pump is not working means extraction pump is failed then what happen turbine will be flooded with the waters from the hot well means from the hot well the water is supplied in condenser condenser is overflow and from the condenser the water is reach into the turbine in a low level jet condensers so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends